What is going on everyone? Welcome guys to a brand new video up on the channel and this is a totally different one. As you guys can see from the video up on screen right now, we got some Clash of Clans up on the main screen right here. Guys, this is my base. I'm a level 148 and as you can see in the top left of course, my name is Mike and uh, I've never done this before but I'm recording this on my iPad as well as recording my audio, my mic through my actual computer. I'm going to be pairing them up um, basically on the computer when I edit the video. Um, I hope the audio from the game is not too loud. Let me double check that. Let me lower it real quick. But yes guys, so like I said, we are going to be playing today. And I wanted to just see basically as a first time, as a test, what I can do on the iPad with Clash of Clans. What it will allow me to do. Um, but basically guys, I do have one builder available. You can see we have our gold mine being worked on uh, for another two days basically. A giant bomb, a grand warden, and our barracks. Now I've pretty much upgraded every major thing for this town hall. I'm in town hall 11. And we just need to work on finishing up a few more things. So I'm pretty dang close to upgrading the final barracks right over here. This guy as you can see. Um, I only need about another 150,000 elixir. So we're going to hop right over here into a... Uh, right over here into an attack and I'll see you guys when I find a base that we can actually attack. Alrighty, so guys we did find a base that we are going to be attacking now. Of course you can see definitely a weird layout. They're, they're doing this on purpose. They have all the walls on the outside. They want to direct you to immediately jump right into this square but I'm 100% sure that there is going to be some stuff in the square. Basically that's going to take out my troops so that's why I wanted to put that there. We're going to just go right for it, put a heal spell right there, put a heal spell over there, put one rage spell right in the middle, pop down a couple of these bad boys, the Barbarian King, and we're actually just going to go right for it. Just want to take out these traps and stuff really quickly here, um, because the rest of it is going to be pretty easy. Now the reason I went for this base is because we're easily going to get at least 50%. But I also wanted to be able to get that elixir, so I don't really need to use all my troops considering we're going to be getting all of this gold and elixir over here. Now I'm not going for anything crazy with dark elixir, but I did need the actual elixir elixir because obviously I am upgrading the barracks. Now the Barbarian King is doing pretty good. The Archer Queen is helping to just get all the resources that I need. Um, there we go, easy 50% 2 star on this base, and uh, they're just going to collect the rest of the gold, and once they've collected it all, I'm just going to end the, the battle. Now I see my Archer Queen is dead, my Barbarian King is just about to die here. Once they've collected the rest of that gold, we are good. Come on, there we go. And we still have 10 troops left, so that's of course going to get put over into the next battle right over here, so we're going to collect the resources from there. But we do have enough right now to upgrade the barracks. Like I said, we only needed 4 million for this. This is the final barracks we are upgrading. And uh, I also wanted to show you guys. So I did, of course, upgrade all the other barracks. And that allowed me to get the Electro Dragon. Now, he is a level 1 as of right now. But we do have him being upgraded at the moment to a level 2. And the moment that is finished upgrading in 3 days, well, basically 4 days, actually, um, I believe I should be able to upgrade him one more time while I'm Town Hall 11. If not, we're just going to continue working on upgrading our spells. I have not touched any of the Dark Elixir spells, as you guys can see, and I need to change that. Along with that, I also have not upgraded virtually any of my actual Dark Troops. So, we have the, uh, the Bowler, we have the Hog Rider, the Witch, I basically haven't upgraded any any of them other than the minion to level 5. So we're going to be working on that, but since we're here, I am going to upgrade of course as well one wall segment with 2 million gold. We are now down to 452,000 and while I'm at it, I'm also going to work on just popping that right there. Oh, I love that. Love that sound. And before I end the video guys, I'm also going to hop into just one more game and we'll go and attack. I'll see you guys when we find a, a player. So guys, this is basically a free win of a base, and I'll tell you guys why. I can easily one-star this base. I can actually easily two-star this base because the town hall is down at the bottom, 
And they have all of their air traps and uh, everything kind of spread out, of course. That's what's going to be in a lot of these open spaces. Um, but the elixir storage and gold storages are mostly on the outside. We do have the one gold storage over here and the other one right over here. Both defended by air traps. So we're not going to go after those with the fireworks defending them. But we are going to easily try to go for that one star. I'm going to pop both of those down over there. Pop a couple troops, uh, just spread around kind of, because the Expos are going to do a lot of damage to these troops. And they definitely do. The, the um, Expos do a lot of damage to this troop type. But while this guy is about to take that down, we're going to try and get this Elixir Storage. I'm really going mostly for just the uh, the one star here. Just want to win to get that, that star count up a little bit. There we go, one star. Might go for this Elixir Storage again. Yeah, not a crazy base for, uh, you know, for getting a lot of dough. Alright. He's about to be taken out. We're just going to end it right there because all we wanted really was about 400,000 elixir and that's exactly what we got. Um, it recouped a little. The gold I'm not too worried about at the moment. But, guys, that's going to be it. In the next video, I'm going to be uh, hopefully upgrading a couple more things for you guys because, like I said, this gold mine is going to be completely done in the next video probably. Um, some of the other things that I definitely need to work on upgrading is this archer tower and a cannon actually. The cannon is right here. It's a level 3, 16,000 gold. It's only going to take 45 minutes to upgrade so I can easily do that in one video. Just kind of skip through it. Uh, but yeah guys, next video is going to hopefully have a little bit more. While I'm at it though, I'm also going to just open this up, see what challenge that I passed. Win six multiplayer battles in a row. Let's go. So these are going to be the ones that I need to work on completing. It's going to be Victory Parade using four balloons, or balloons to win four multiplayer battles, sorry. Destroying ten Inferno Towers. Destroying ten art uh, Eagle Artillery Towers. Destroying fifteen Gem Mines. And donating twenty-five housing space worth of spells. So... I'm not in a clan, as you guys can see, but if you guys want me to join your clan, if you want me to do any donations, let me know in the comment section for this video, and I can definitely see what I can do. I'm big on donating. I donate quite a bit, actually, I think. Yeah, so as you guys can see right down at the bottom, friend in need, it says donate 25,000 capacity worth of reinforcements to clanmates. I've donated 27,500 uh, troops as of this point and I'm going to continue donating the thing is that I'm just currently not in a clan So of course I can't really you know raise that number up But like I said if you guys want me to join your clan definitely leave a comment down below and let me know guys I can join I can donate I can uh, I can hopefully be some help so as always I love you guys keep being cool Keep killing it. Have a good one guys. Peace